Ancient scholars who observed the precession of the equinox provided a simpler explanation than a wobbling Earth. They said that our sun curves through space, moving in a great orbit of its own, pulling the Earth and other planets along with it. If the Earth did move along with the sun on a curved path through space, we might see the same procession of the equinox through the zodiac and changing of the pole stars that the loony solar wobble theory now attempts to explain but it would not be caused by the Earth's wobbling independent of the Sun. It would be caused by the whole solar system curving through space. Another reference frame is at work. A partner star to our own Sun? Some say the binary model confirms all of our celestial observations without the need for excessive torque or epicycle type explanations. While the concept of a second sun challenges our present understanding of the solar system, it is hardly a new idea. Some of the earliest astronomical records refer to the existence of dual suns. Swami Sri Yukteswar, a great Hindu sage, described our solar system and the great cycle. We learn from Oriental astronomy that moons revolve around the planets and planets turning on their axis revolve with their moons around the sun. The sun with its planets and their moons takes some star for its jewel and revolves around it in about 24,000 years of our Earth, a celestial phenomenon which causes the backward movement of the equinoctial points around the zodiac. As we look deeper into the universe and expand our knowledge of its motion, we've come to realize that single suns are more the exception than the rule. Just as the binary model answers questions of the past, it could also be applied to solve scientific questions of the present. For example, at the edge of our solar system is a field of asteroids known as the Kuiper Belt. In 2001, a team of scientists from the University of Michigan made a startling discovery. The asteroids appear to end very abruptly. A sheer edge like this would be expected in a binary system. Also, a large number of long cycle comets in our solar system come from a very small part of the sky. Although some astronomers like John Matisse and Daniel Whitmire think it may result from the gravitational pull of an unconfirmed 10th planet, our sun's binary could also have this effect. Another enigma, all celestial bodies have angular momentum, a force that corresponds to their mass and motion. Yet in our solar system, angular momentum is unevenly distributed. The Sun has 99.9% .9 of the total mass, but only 1% of the total angular momentum. If we acknowledge that our Sun is curving through space in a 24,000 year binary orbit, we find the Sun's angular momentum was there all the time, but primarily in its orbital motion, not just in its spin. Consider 36,666 year binary periods. For half of the 36,666 year cycle of precession, the duration of each zodiacal age lengthens by 363 years, while for the latter half of the cycle, each successive age diminishes by 363 years. This periodic rate change of 363 years shows synchronicity with the known 11 year solar cycle, 11 times 33 equals 363 reflecting one full revolution of the binary system. 11 times 3,333.33 equals 36,666.66.